Hi everyone, I am Raheem Munir and today I am very excited to see two of my favorite people in science, Professor Prashant Kamath and Professor Julian Buryek. Professor Kamath comes from University of Notre Dame and he is also an editor of uh, ACS Energy Letters. Buryek comes from University of Alberta and she is also an editor of uh, Chemistry of Materials. Thank you for joining us today. While they are here at Cows for Cows Solar Conference, we thought to talk to them about the vital points of PhD life. Uh, could you please introduce yourself, like professors? Okay, uh, first of all, uh, thank you for uh, the opportunity to talk to you. Uh, the Cows uh, Student Organization, uh, which is putting together uh, an event uh, at the MRS for the first time, uh, is an exciting uh, event, and I hope uh, you all will enjoy it. And uh, I'm happy to share uh, some of the events. So, as uh, he mentioned, I am a professor at uh, Notre Dame. Uh, I'm interested in uh, nanomaterials and nano assemblies for energy conversion. Thank you very much again. Just to follow up on Prashant's comments, <laughs> how happy I am to be here. This has been a really great few days. Um, so, I work on uh, semiconductor surface chemistry with applications towards computer chip uh, architectures and design and solar energy conversion and storage. And I'm really, I think this is really important and a really good thing that you're doing and so I'm very supportive because uh, writing and presenting yourself to, to um, academic reviewers and, and people for whom you're applying for jobs, it's really critical that you get it right. So I, I'm re I really appreciate the opportunity. So now we are on that topic. So could you please tell us about uh, how important the writing skills are for academic jobs? You said you were going to start. Okay. Uh, you know, like uh, I always say that uh, writing is very important to convey the message. Uh, the communicate, we communicate in a different ways, whether it's a Twitter or Facebook or any other social media. There we can just text it. Uh, put emojis or something, which you cannot do it when it comes to science. Uh, we have to re express it in the real science and real uh, sentences so that other person can understand. So this is a, a very important, it doesn't matter how great science you do or you great scientist are, unless you are able to express in a way so that other people, your peers, can understand uh, that the science doesn't mean anything. So, hence it's very important to do and develop the skills uh, in this area. Would you like to add something? So one thing is that people tend to beat themselves up when they're writing with the first draft. Is that they, they sense that they, they stress over the word choice, they stress over getting the sentences right. The I've been there actually. <laughs> the first draft just, just Get it all out. Don't worry about about worrying about that whether the language is too flowery or really precise. Just get your thoughts down. Get the organization correct. Then once you have a draft, it is so much easier to work on that and then and then to hone that. But that first, the very first draft, you're you're never going to show it to the world. It's only for you, and so if you if you don't worry about that, you can get past writer's block. You can you can de-stress and relax and enjoy it. Uh, can I add one more thing? Uh, uh, is write simple sentences. Don't have to write long sentences. I carried out this experiment. I observed this phenomena. So, like very simple sentences, if you can compose first in the first draft, then you can move around. So your thoughts come out right. Uh, another thing I also emphasize is try to write half a page, not much, every day on a piece of paper, not on a computer. Uh, the reason is your thoughts come out much better when you hold a pen than on a thing, uh, on a mouse. Uh, this way you are developing that writing skills, your thought process, everything comes in. You don't run marathon just with a one-day practice. You run it, you practice for six months to run a marathon. Same way for writing your paper, develop the skill way in advance. So my last question would be, uh, what are the do's and don'ts of a CV? So if you receive a CV for an application of a student or a postdoc, 
what would you see the first thing and what would be the turn off for, for, for you guys? So a CV, in essence, it's a bit like a first date <laughs> or meeting your mother-in-law for the first time. <laughs> You're going to have your hair nice. You're going to make sure that your shirt isn't wrinkled, that you don't have your breakfast on the front. It's go you're going to try and look perfect. Okay. And the CV, and this is, it's, it's I have a, a, a lot of uh, sympathy for non-native English speakers because it's it may not be obvious if there are typos or mistakes, but you have to find someone who's going to find those. It has to be perfect, not a single mistake. And that, so that's, that sounds very superficial, but if you think about dates, that's the way humans are built. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another thing I also emphasize is um, try to highlight your strengths that are unique uh, in the sense that it captures the attention, right? Yeah. So uh, sometimes when you write all the things, it looks like 10 others will look exactly the same. You know? uh, I'm not saying that don't break the style, but when you take that glimpse, that should catch the attention. Uh, the, the, the first, first, first draft. Look. Yeah, oh, first okay. look. And you know, people have become very creative in getting that attention. Yeah. And uh, whether uh, also and market yourself. Right. Okay. Yeah. So whenever they tell you product, they will want to capture your eyes. Right. Yes. Uh, why you go Good for packaging? The, I guess. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's but I'm not saying that you should be too much uh, superficial. But in a reality sense, that you sh at your best, okay. what you can do, okay. and uh, what you can contribute to the program of okay. where you are applying. Okay. One other thing you could do is it would be kind of interesting to write an editorial. We could publish it yeah. on this yeah. on this workshop, yeah. and so then you actually have a published wow. piece of work describing why you think this is important because people want to hear that. Yeah. So that could be. Another I way. think me and my team will follow up with that and okay, great. we will do that actually. Great, yeah. please do. <laughs> Thank happy, you. Happy to, Thank happy you so much, Professor, it. for yeah. finding us today. And, and uh, again, uh, good luck and uh, yeah. it's a very nice uh, initiative you guys have started. I hope it will propagate and uh, please come and attend the event. Yeah. Sure. Shokran Jazeelan, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> thank you.